afternoon everyone um, I'm back out again in the Lake District uh, today I'm gonna do the um, Newlands horse no I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna do the Newlands watershed um, excuse me a minute I'm gonna I need to get my phone out there's that many uh, but first I'm going up um, cat bells which um, I think this this route's gonna be quite hard but um, I've got um, so Cat Bells, Maiden Moor, High Spy, Dalehead, Hindscarth, Robinson, Not Rig, Ards Crag, Scar Crags, Causey Pike. Uh, possibly, well, it's going to be at least two days, uh, one one night camping, um, maybe two. Even I might end up on Causey Pike. Uh, I'm expecting high winds, 40 mile an hour, gusts of 40 mile an hour. Um, so we'll see see what adventures are in store for me. I think this is going to be a bit of a slog and I'm expecting a bit of um, weather wise to be sunny, cloudy, wind and rain. Um, <laughs> so it might be a bit of a, I might be a bit swirring at times but see you up there and uh, hope to enjoy. some um, National Trust who repair the path I just speak into them saying how much I respect it and thanks them I thought they were volunteers but they paid but I pay into the National Trust so it's nice to see it's going back to something good um, it's quite <laughs> cat bell it's only 1500 but it packs a punch that's for sure uh, it's quite a slog this uh, even though it's in that, it is quite cool, you know, with it being a, a cloudy day. Um, but I'm about to reach the top, so I don't know if I'll do any talking because it's very busy, as you probably imagine. Uh, so just do like a quick, uh, in, quick talk about it, I think, and then move on to the next one.
overhaul the wind a bit but um, this is bull crack which I think is made and more this is 576 there is a little kern down the bottom we've just been to that's probably more likely it it looks more likely it but I thought I need to come to the highest point which on the map on the Ubermo West map I'm at bull crack so uh, I'm, I've been to both but uh, I've got to go to um, this this is uh, High Spy, I think it is, and then um, on to uh, I think that's Dale Head, uh, that one maybe, and then further round, uh, can't even see on there, but um, might be that one being. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking at. <laughs> if it's right, that one's Dale Head. Way. Then I've got Dalehead, Robinson, Thanks to the uh, 50 odd subscribers that are uh, subscribed by the way, it means a lot. Uh, hope I can keep, you know, growing. Uh, right, okay, the wind, it's, it is windy today, uh, but we're getting, uh, I'll spin you around. I've got great views of, I think that's Great Gable. Uh, and then I've got to go. So, uh, Dale Head. Hind scarf and over that Robinson today. Drop down and then the plan is to camp at High Snockerig. Uh, but see what the wind's like. I'm a bit, uh, yeah, I'm a bit light thinking it might be a bit too windy, but it's all fun and games. Okay, drop down to Dale Town and then I'm going up. Um, Dale head up that bad boy. <clears throat> right, just a Dale head tan. Uh, I've had a bit of, bit of scram down there, and the, um, there was a little river uh, stop out the wind. Uh, but I've got to climb Dale head uh, now up there, and then uh, Hindscarth Robinson. Uh, I'm expecting it to be really windy, so don't think I'll be doing much chatting. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this, but hopefully the last kind of climb of the day, really. So I'll slowly see you up there.
jacket on, a bit chilly coming up, but coming to Dale Head, great views of the Newland Valley. Um, this is Dale Head, 753 meters, and what a view that is. in temperature but um, I'm loving the views though uh, you can see over to um, Haystacks and um, the tarn and then back up. It's quite some distance really. Uh, yeah but I'm going Heinsgarth, uh, Robinson and then down. So I'm gonna love that view on the way and uh, get there as quick as possible. I need to warm up. But it's lovely as well the um, rain stopped uh, and the you know we just I think I'm the only person up here as well <laughs> it's amazing
uh, bought a new tent. Uh, that's the, uh, the Visco one from Fjall Raven. Uh, I've not done a um, sign lapse, can't be bothered. Just got it set up because I uh, want to get out the wind a bit. So, uh, but uh, to be honest, they look pretty solid. with it actually uh, I'll see what it's like in the morning um, but <coughs> this is me pitch for the night uh, so it looks pretty good actually um, so yeah compared to the Alak there's not much room but it is a one man tent uh, but 40 mile an hour winds tonight, or oh, in the morning, 40 mile an hour gusts, 45, so I'm hoping it'll be bomb proof. <laughs> we'll see, eh? I'll see in the morning and I'll, uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Um, now I'm going to get some tea on, because I'm hungry. I need some calories after that, and a brew. Gagging for a brew. But... Uh, Scar Crags and then Causey Pike um, so hopefully the weather's okay uh, if I don't see you through the night I'll see you in the morning Morning campers, um, I've got a shout I think because um, so I mean I've survived the night in the Abisco one which touch wood is pretty solid so far uh, but it is um, big, a big dent here I think I've because I uh, put the, the door on the side of the wind which you're not supposed to do but um, it's holding out pretty good and I think the 45 mile an hour winds are hitting right now so um, I've not gone off at the crack of dawn, but I've just got my breakfast on. With a cup of tea, so I'm gonna have that. 
Uh, but I'm just getting you, giving you a sense of what it's like in the Abisco one. Pretty good actually. But going from a two-man tent to a one is pretty cramped. <laughs> uh, but gonna have my breakfast. I'm waiting out a bit till about midday, if I'm honest. Uh, kind of cheating with the camping rules, but that's when the rain's supposed to stop. So uh, once that stops, we'll get off here. Right, then we're going to enjoy this, and then we're going to start more Wayne rides later on. Have a good day. down the road from Mo Moss Force to Little Town for my car. <sighs> Never did I thought to be walking down FML. It's a long and winding road this is. It's got a great view but uh, Enjoyed the rest of it and uh 